Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Edna. Hello, good evening, teacher. Cristina, good evening. Kenya, Alejandra, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm sick, teacher. Bye. You're sick, really? What's wrong? Uh, tengo dolor de, de hueso y de cabeza. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's, is it the flu? No, no sé. De repente ahora, en la mañana, uh -huh. todo el día. Probably it is a stress, right? Sí, es probable. But don't worry, tomorrow is Friday. You are going to rest. Yes. <laughs> Happy but, Father's Day. Ah, yes. Day, yeah. It's a day off, right? It's a holiday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. And good evening. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Thank you. I am good. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you. So let's start with tonight's class, right? And yesterday we were studying um, simple past tense in interrogative form, question. We were studying question yesterday. So to make a question, what do we need? Do you remember? What do we need to make a question? Let's write this down. What do we need to make a question? Do you remember? We were studying yesterday WH work. And you say that WH work are the following. Can you list then WH work? Can you list the WH work? Los ¿Se acuerdan de las preguntas de información WH work? Mm, where? Okay, you say what? where? What? When, 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 yes. Oh, who, 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 why? Okay, we have who, how, and who. The who? where, what, when, how, who. Which, why. Which, and finally we have why. 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 Okay. So we need this word to make information question in simple past. And they are places at the beginning of the sentence. Let's see, for example, where? Can you say, where are you at the mall? Oh, no, that is, uh, where uh, did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go yesterday? And that is an information question. You have to give me information. So where did you go yesterday? And then you say, uh, I went. Si usted fue a algún lugar, then you say, I went to the park. Easy. In past. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the park. Si usted no salió y estuvo, casa, you say, estuvo en casa, you say, I didn't go anywhere. No fui a ningún lugar. I didn't go anywhere. And you can, I stayed at home. Yo estuve en casa. So we get information. We get information to answer this type of question. And we have, for example, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? ¿Cuál sería una buena respuesta? Then you answer in past. En pasado empieza a enlistar las actividades que hizo el día de ayer. What did you do yesterday? You say, I studied. Oh, sorry, I studied eh, math, for example, or English. I studied otra actividad que hizo ayer. Entonces, I listen to music. Eh, music. Any other activity? You say, I clean. 
I clean my house. I clean my house. You answer in past, in simple past tense. It was easy or difficult. Okay, tonight we are going to study the simple past, but at this time we are going to study the simple past of the verb to be. That is the topic for tonight. So let's start with this. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Sí. Okay, simple pass with the verb B. So this is our class number 12. Welcome. In the simple pass, the verb B has two forms. They are was and where. En el pasado simple, el verbo to be tiene solo dos formas. En el presente, ¿cuántas tiene el verbo to be? En el presente, simple present. Tiene tres formas. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Se acuerdan cuando dice I am, you are, he is, they are. They are. Ah, they are. Ok, ese es en presente. En pasado solo tiene dos. Miren, más fácil. Was en where. ¿Cómo vamos a conjugarlo en pasado entonces? Afirmativo. So you say I was, he was, she was. It was. Con estos pronombres vamos a utilizar la forma was. Se dice I was. Yo fui o yo estuve. He was. Él fue o él estuvo. She was. Ella fue o ella estuvo. It was. Uh, recuerde que el pronombre it es para animales o para cosas. Eh, then for the, for the next personal pronouns we are going to use where. We were. You were. And they were. And look at this example. It says, I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. We were early. You weren't at the school. They were quiet. So in the first one, I was happy. Yo estaba feliz. He was hungry. Él estaba hambriento. She was a nurse. Ella fue una enfermera. It was a big dog. Este era un perro grande. We were early. Nosotros estuvimos temprano. You were at the school. Tú estuviste en la escuela. They were quiet. Ellos estuvieron quietos, tranquilos, calmados o en silencio. They were quiet. And then don't forget, I was, he was, she was, it was. We were, you were, and they were. Any volunteer to practice reading the sentences in the first chart here? In this part, please. Who wants? Who wants to help me? Me, teacher. Thank you so much. I was happy. She was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. Excellent. We were awesome. early. Mm -hmm. and you were at the school. They were quiet. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Any question in this part? Then to make an affirmative sentences, we need this structure. Mm -hmm. Subject. The subject at the beginning of the sentence. The correct form of the verb to be in simple past. And the complement. So it's kind of easy. Look at this. I was happy. Subject, verb to be, in past, in complement. He was hungry. Subject, verb to be, in complement. So that is what we need to make an affirmative sentence. Now, what do we need to make a negative sentence in simple past using the verb to be? That's kind of easy too. So we need not. Solo necesitamos agregar this particle, the particle not. Solo tenemos que agregar eso, was not. Eh, I was happy. Yo estuve feliz. Si usted quiere decir yo no estuve feliz, 
Solo le agregamos el no después del was. We are not after, was, after the verb be. So dice, I was not happy. Eh, generalmente se utiliza contractado. Wasn't. I wasn't happy. Y con where, the same. We are not after the form where. And we say, we were early. Nosotros estuvimos temprano. O oh, we weren't early. We were not early. Weren't is the contraction of were not. And I have here some examples. Look at the first one. I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. We weren't early. You weren't at the school. They weren't quiet. Do you have any questions in this part? How to make negative sentences? Eh? No questions? No? no? Okay, excellent. I need a volunteer who wants to practice reading this. Wasn't, weren't. That's the right pronunciation of this contraction. Who wants to help me? Any volunteer who wants to help me? Uh, yo. Me. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Thank you so much. Go ahead. I wasn't say, say, or say. sad. I wasn't sad. sad. Okay, he was a hunger. She was a nurse. It was a big dose. So. Thank you. Yes, it wasn't a big dog. Thank you. Who wants to read the next three sentences here? We... Hey, go, <laughs> <Sorry>. go, <laughs> go ahead, Alejandra. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We wasn't hardly. You wasn't at the school. There wasn't kid. Okay, thank you. But we say, weren't. Um, weren't. We weren't early. Uh, weren't early. You yes. weren't at the school. There weren't kids. Quiet. Quiet. Uh, quiet. Quiet. They weren't uh, quiet. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, Kenya, do you want to read the sentence? You can do it. Go ahead. No problem. Las mismas, teacher. Yes, please. Um, I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. We were early. You were at the school. They were quiet. Okay. Thank you so much, Alejandra and Kenya. Very good job. Then don't forget, wasn't is the contraction of was not. Weren't the contraction were not. Now, how to make question in simple past tense using the verb to be? What we have to do is this. I have this affirmative sentence. You were happy. Usted estaba feliz. I have subject. In the verb being in simple past in a complement. To make a question, I need to write the past form of the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence. So look at this. Were you happy? And also I need to add the question mark. So I have the verb at the beginning of the sentence, the verb to be in simple past. Then I have the subject, then the complement. And finally, we need to write the question mark. It's kind of easy. So you were happy. Were you happy? Uh, let's see, Cristina, were you happy yesterday? Because I stay with my family. Okay, nice. In this case, it's a yes, no question. So is it were you happy? Estaba usted feliz? Then you say, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Uh -huh. It's a yes, no question. That's 
let's hear our some example of affirmative sentences and questions. I have here the affirmative sentence and then the question. So I was late. It's an affirmative sentence. You say, I was late. Llegué tarde. Y cuando usted llega corriendo, le pregunta al maestro, was I late? Llegué tarde o lo logré. So, was I late? Llegué yo tarde. You were sick. Were you sick? Estabas enfermo o, en, o enferma? He was surprised. He was surprised. Él estaba sorprendido. Was he surprised? Sería la pregunta. Ponemos el verbo to be al inicio de la oración. Don't forget that. She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? It was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? They were busy. Were they busy? So, question examples in this part. I need two volunteers who wants to practice in this part. Any volunteer? Hello, I need two volunteers to practice here. Me, teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Eduardo. Me, and Edma, thank you so much. Eduardo and Edma. So, Eduardo, can you please read the affirmative sentence and Edma the question? Vamos una y una. For, for example, Eduardo say, I was late. I was Edna, late. Was I late? Was I late. Oh, okay. The next. Continue. Okay. I was late. Was I late? You were sick. Were you sick? He was surprised. Was he surprised? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? I was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? We were busy. Were they busy? Okay, excellent, Eduardo. Thank you, Edna. Yes, this word. How do you pronounce this word, guys? How do you pronounce the word? I heard the pronunciation. The right one is busy. They were busy. Were they busy? Thank you so much, Eduardo and Edma. Excellent job in this part. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, we can answer this with short answers. And here are the answers. Was I late? Then yes, you were. No, you weren't. Cuando usted llega tarde va a preguntar, was I late? Si lo logró, le van a decir, no, you weren't, you are on time. Si no lo logró, yes, you were, it's very late, it's very late, ya es muy tarde. Were you sick? Say, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Hello, Carmen. Answers son respuestas, quiere decir. Así es, son las ah. respuestas. ¿Cómo responder estas preguntas? Let's see. Were you sick? ¿Estuviste enfermo? Dice, yes, I was. Sí estaba enfermo. No, I wasn't. No. Was he surprised? Yes, he was. ¿Estaba él sorprendido? Sí, él estaba. Yes, he was. No, él no. No se sorprendió. No, he wasn't. Eh, was she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. ¿Era ella de Italia? Yes, she was. Sí. No, she wasn't. No. Was it a big house? ¿Era una casa grande? Yes, it was. It was very big. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was a small house. Were we ready? ¿Estábamos nosotros listos? Yes, we were. Sí estábamos. No, we weren't. No estábamos. Were you early? 
Were you early? Llegó usted temprano. Uh, ustedes, sir, it's the plural. Were you early? Llegaron temprano. You say, yes, we were. Or no, we weren't. Were they busy? Say, yes, they were. Or no, they weren't. Do you have any question in this part? Question and answer. Questions? Okay, I can see that you don't have any questions. So thank you so much. Okay, so let's listen this conversation. We are going to find here some examples when using the verb to be in simple past. Let me see. I was born in Korea. That is the title of this conversation. I was born in Korea. Yo nací en Korea. So let's listen. Let me see if this works. Can you listen the audio? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, now let's take a look at the question. Where were you born, Melissa? It's an information question. Where? Donde nació? Where were you born? And the answer is an affirmative sentence. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. That is an example of negative sentence. You weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Mm, tu eras muy joven. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? Mm, fuiste a la universidad eh, una vez llegaste? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, where? Where was Melissa born? Where was she Melissa was born? born in Korea. Okay, she thank you. Korea. She was born in Korea. Where was Chuck born? Where was Chuck born? Where was Chuck born? He is USA. Okay, he, he was born in USA. He was born he was in the USA, or the United States. Very good. Uh, what is the name of this place? Look at the picture. Where were they? Donde estaban ellos? They were at Bar barber shop. Barber shop. Oh, you can say the hair. Hair. The okay. hair saloon. The hair okay. saloon. I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation, but before to practice, let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation of the question and answer, please. And also the contraction that you are going to find in the conversation. So let's listen again and then we're going to practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, 
So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, now I need two volunteers who wants to participate in this conversation. Who Me, teacher. teacher. Me, teacher. Me, Me teacher. <laughs> okay, Fatima, Fatima and Edma in the first uh, time. So, Fatima, okay, you are going to be Chuck and Edma, you are going to be Melissa. You can start. Do it, please. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to the college right, now, right away? No, my English was wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is very good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Edma and Fatima. Excellent job. So do you have any question about vocabulary in this conversation? Is it a new word, a new phrase, a word that is difficult to pronounce? No? Then let's go with the second time. Who wants to participate in the second practice? No volunteers. No volunteers. Me teacher. Okay, Kenya and... I need another volunteer, help me. Kenya and... Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Kenya and Carmen. Kenya, you are going to be Chuck. And Carmen, you are going to be Melissa. Can you please start? Okay. Where were you born, you born Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but it was born here. Okay, thank you so much, Kenya and Carmen. Excellent job. Just a couple of words here. Let me show you. Um, let's see. So you were in the say. Oh, this word. How do you pronounce this word? Can you help me with the pronunciation of this word? Pretty, 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 Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Kenya and Carmen. And let's go with the next. Okay. A statement with the pass of B. Um, here is again the explanation, right? That you are going to find on the platform. And um, affirmative sentences. Who wants to read the affirmative sentences? Let's practice. Help me with this part. Any volunteer to read the affirmative sentences? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Christina. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. 
they were in Korea in 1998. That was perfect. Excellent. Any other volunteer to read the negative? negative. Me, teacher. Thank you, Byron. I wasn't born in the U.S. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Okay, thank you. Can you please repeat this number, Byron? 1998. Oh, 19. 1998. 1998. 1998. Okay, that's excellent. Now let's listen to this. Give me a second. We're going to listen to this. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Okay, any other volunteer to practice reading the affirmative sentence? Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Go ahead, please. I was born in Korea. You were pretty young. Pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Excellent. Thank you so much, Kenya. And the last volunteer to practice the negative sentence. Eh? Me too. Thank you, Fatima. I wasn't born in the USA. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They weren't in the USA in the 1998. Okay, excellent. 1998. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kenya and Fatima, and also Christina and Byron. Thanks for your help in this part. Statements with the past. Okay, now we are going to have a practice. Complete the following sentence using was or where. Can you help me to complete these sentences using was or where? Was. 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 Okay, in exercise A, you say was is the answer. Yes, you are right. Was is the answer. So you say I was 18 last year. Where? In where? B, exercise B, Marta and Sarah. Where? 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 Were painful yesterday. Marta and Sarah were painful yesterday. Uh, letter C. Exercise C. What? 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 Letter B. Letter C. What? Marco was healthy last month. Okay, just a second. Okay, let's continue. Uh, exercise D. Was she was she was sick last week. She was sick last week. Uh, letter E. Where? Where? We were at that college. Uh, F. You were. Where? Where? Okay, you were my friend. You were my friend. And excellent. Very good job. Thank you. Any volunteer to read these sentences? Tell me. Any volunteer? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Who wants to try? Who wants to help me? Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you, Cristina. 
I was 18 last year. Marta and Sara were painful yesterday. Marco was healthy last month. She was sick last week. We were at that college. You were my friend. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. ¿Cómo sería el ejercicio A en negativa? I wasn't 18 last year. Okay, thank you. What about B? Marta and Sara weren't painful yesterday. Excellent, thank you. Letter C. Marco wasn't healthy last month. Excellent. D. She wasn't sick last week. E and F. Uh, we were and you were. Okay. Excellent. Weren't. Thank you. Thank you, Cristina. Excellent job. Now let's solve this other exercise. We are going to use was to complete. Was or where to complete this? Was. 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 What? And the first one you see is was. Yes, yeah, you're right. Michael Jackson was a very popular artist. Number two. Was. was. Okay, he was born in. ¿Cómo leen ese año? He 19, was born in. 1958. Oh, thank you so much. He was born in 1958. Number two, last Saturday, Carlos and Dilma were in at home. They were. were. Okay, they were in the country all weekend. Number three. Was. Was. I was. I was worried because he they were, were lost. ¿Por qué estaba preocupada esta persona? I was worried because... Porque estaban perdidos. No, oh, ellos estaban perdidos. Were in Valentin and Isabel, Isabel at the party? No, they weren't. Were. No, they weren't. Number five. For most people, Pelé, one of the best soccer players in the world. Was. Was. What? 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 Okay, was. And the last one, what is your favorite subject in high school? What? Were. What? 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 Okay, in this case, it's was because we are talking about your favorite subject. So it's it, the pronoun. So you say. What was your favorite subject in high school? It was math. Any volunteer to read sentence number one? Exercise number one. Who wants to read the sentences there? Michael Jackson was a very popular artist. He was born. He was born in, in 1958. Excellent, thank you. 1958. The second one. Number two. Last Saturday, Carlos and Irma were in a home. home. They were in the country all weekend. Thank you so much. Number three. I was worrying because they were lost. Excellent, thank you. Number four. Weren't Valentine and Isabel at the party? No, they weren't. Thank you. Number five. For most people, Pele was one of the best soccer players in the world. In the world. And the last one. What was your favorite subject in high school? Is what made? Math. 
math. It was math. Okay, thank you so much. Any question in this part? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's practice in this small conversation. And this is the conversation number one. It's between a man and a woman. And the man says, how was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. New vocabulary in this small conversation. Crowding. Crowded. 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 Uh, crowded. Lleno, lleno de personas. Was it crowded? Mm -hmm. Estaba lleno el cine? And say, no, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. No habían muchas personas ahí. Surprisingly. Any other word? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, I need two volunteers. Who wants to practice? If no volunteers, I'm going to choose a victim tonight. Once. Let me me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Cristina and... Me. I... Tell me your name, please. I can see you. Cristina and... Me teacher. <laughs> Oh, Carmen, ah, Carmen, bueno. Carmen. No, es que se tardó un poquito en marcarse. Ah, bueno. I'm so sorry. So, Cristina and Carmen, can you please help me in the conversation number one? Okay. Eh, Cristina, can you please start? How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it grounded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. Surprising. No sé cómo dice. Surprisingly. 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 Okay, excellent. Thank you, Carmen and Cristina. Uh, any other volunteer? Any other volunteer? Then I'm going to choose. Me teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Any other? I have one. I have Eduardo. Any other? Who? Who went? Who wants to try? Okay. Then I, if not, I'm going to choose. Karen Lopez, can you help me, please? Eduardo and Karen. Eduardo, you are the man and you are the woman, Karen. Okay. How was the movie? It was really good. What is scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What is crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there surprising. Okay, excellent, thank you. Thank you, Eduardo and Karen. So this word is scary. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. And crowded, was it crowded? And the rest, excellent, thank you so much. The last two volunteers to practice in conversation number one. Uh, who, wants, who wants to try? Let please send Byron and Kenya. Byron and Kenya, can you tell me, please? How was the movie? It was really good. What is scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What is crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. Surprise single. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Byron and Kenya. Let's see the next conversation. Uh, where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. Where are you? 
Really? Really, I was there. Okay, what do you think about this conversation? Es como de un esposo tóxico, ¿verdad? <laughs> Asking to her uh, wife, maybe. Uh, where were you last night? ¿Dónde mm. estuviste esa noche? Where were you last night? And the woman says, I was at work. You estaba en el trabajo. Really? I was at your shop. You estuve en tu tienda and you weren't there. Tú no estabas ahí. No, I was. Yeah, no, yo sí estaba in the back. No, I was in the back working. Estaba en la parte de atrás trabajando. Where are you? Estabas ahí. Really? I was there. De veras, yo estaba ahí. Parece que se están peleando. Mm. ¿Habrá estado en la tienda de verdad? Nunca lo sabremos. <risa> Las mujeres siempre decimos la verdad. <risa> ok. I agree with you. I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. <risa> eh, I need to learn to practice in conversation number two. Me teacher. Me teacher. Ok. Can you please say me and your name, please? Eh, se tarda un poquito aquí en marcarme quién habló, ¿verdad? Mi teacher. Ok, Carmen. And... Who was the other person? Mi teacher. Me, tell me your name, please. Tell me with that. Carmen and... Rebeca. Ah, ok, thank you so much, Rebeca. Can you please start, Rebeca, and then Carmen? Inicio yo, teacher. Yes, please. Ok. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You, you weren't there. No, I was in the back working. Were you? Really, I was there. Okay, excellent. Let's go with the next conversation. Thank you so much, Carmen and Rebecca. Let's go with the next. I have here another conversation for you to practice. And it's this one. Conversation number three. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Uh, what is this conversation about? ¿De qué están platicando ellos? What are they talking about? ¿De cómo estuvo el examen? O el, el examen, la prueba. Yes, uh, ¿cómo estuvo el examen? Muy... So, realmente muy fuerte, muy difícil. difícil. It was really hard. Estuvo muy difícil. How long was it? How long was it? ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto duró? ¿Cuánto duró? And say, oh, ¿qué tan largo estaba? There were about 20 problems. problems. Yeah. What was your score? ¿Cuál fue tu resultado? Eh, y la dice, let's just say, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. ¿Cuánto creen que se sacó? Solo digamos que no fue tan bueno, pero tampoco tan malo. ¿Cuánto se habrá sacado? Un 6. <laughs> ok, probably 6. Right? 6.5, something like that. ¿Cómo les iba en los exámenes? ¿Solo dieces? ¿Nueves? ¿Once? Diez. Ah, oh, ten. Excellent. You were excellent student. Ah, seven and eight. It's still okay. Eh, ¿Quién se destacaba cuatro sin cinco? ¿Four and five? Nobody. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Now I need to learn to practice in this conversation. 
who say me? Me, teacher. Me. Okay, thank teacher. you, Cristina. Edma. Cristina and Edma, thank you so much. Cristina, can you please start? And then Edma. Okay, how was the test? It was really far. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Okay, excellent, either. It wasn't bad either. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you, Cristina and Edma. In the last conversation in which we're going to practice tonight is this one. Conversation number four. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there. So was Sue. Were John and Katie there? No, they weren't. They weren't there, but their son was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. What are they talking about? ¿De qué se trata esta conversación? What are these people talking about? ¿Que dónde va a ser la fiesta? ¿Dónde va a ser o dónde fue? ¿Dónde fue? Ah, ok. Excelente. So, do you know? Eh, ¿Seguro es, es, es por el lugar? Preguntando por el lugar a dónde fue. Who, do you remember the question? Who, uh -huh. what is the meaning? Who, ¿Quién? ¿Quién, ¿Quién, estuvo? Es, ¿Quién estuvo en la fiesta? Quizás no pudo ir esta persona y está preguntando, ¿Quién estuvo en la fiesta? And the woman say, Jason was there, so was Sue. Jason estuvo ahí, también estuvo Sue. Where Tom and Katie there? Estaba Tom y Katie ahí. No, they weren't there. But their son was. No, ellos no estaban ahí, pero su hijo sí estaba. Oh, I see. So, was it fun? Así que, ¿estuvo divertido? Yeah, it was a fun evening. Bueno, pobrecito el muchacho, no le dieron permiso de ir a esa fiesta. Parece que sí quería ir. No sean malas, dejen ir al esposo a la fiesta. So, no, dice, <laughs> no me sales. Okay. Okay, I need to, to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Who wants? Who wants? Just to volunteers. Anyone? Okay, I'm going to choose somebody. Can you me tell me, please? Oh, who say me? Tell me your name, please. Let's just say Kenya. Kenya, can you tell me? And also, and Rebecca, Kenya and Rebecca, please. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there, so was you. Were Tom and Katy there? No, they weren't they there, but their son was. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it, it was a fun evening. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Question? Do you have any question? Thank you so much, Kenya and Rebecca. Excellent job. Do you have any question? And let's practice in this exercise. Can you please find the answer for this question? I have five questions and five answers. Can you match them? Question number one. Were you at home yesterday? What's the answer? A, B, C, D, or E? Mm -hmm. D. Where you say D. You say, no, I wasn't. I was at a concert. So you say one D. Todos de acuerdo? One D? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. perfect. Second one, was Ryan in class yesterday? Mm. Letter E. Letter E, so you say two E. 
No, he wasn't. He was sick. Number three. Was the concert good? Was the concert good? Letter D. Letter, letter D? Letter D. Oh, letter B. You say 3B. 3B. Yes, she was. We were both there. Are you sure it's letter B? D. A. No, it wasn't. The music uh -huh. was pretty bad. Letter okay. E. Mm, letter E? A. A. Ah, okay. Letter A. So 3A. A. 3A. No, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Uh, was the movie interesting? Was the letter movie C. interesting? Letter, letter C. C. Oh, yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. And then it's 4C. And the last one, number five. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Let it be. Let it be. Yes, we were both there. Estuvimos los dos ahí, right? And there are the answer 1B, 2E, 3A, 4C, and 5B. I need two volunteers. The last two volunteers for tonight. Who wants to try? Who wants to ask and answer a question? Just two people, just to finish the class. Who wants? Dos voluntarios más y nos vamos a descansar. Anyone? Salven a sus compañeros. Who wants? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, Karen. Thank you. Karen Lopez and who is the other superhero? ¿Quién va a salvar a sus compañeros para que nos vayamos a descansar ya? Any, anyone? Mi teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. <laughs> okay, Kenya. Thank you. Okay, Kenya and Karen. Uh, Karen, sorry, Karen. Karen, can you please read the question and can you have the answers? Were you at home yesterday? It's a letter D. Letter E. No, it was, wasn't the music was pretty bad. Oh, it's this one, D. D, uh, okay, perdón. No, it wasn't, it was a, a concert. Okay, excellent. Second question, please. Was Ray in class yesterday? No, he wasn't, he was sick. Next. Was the concert good? No, it wasn't, the music was pretty bad. Was the movie interesting? Yes, it was. Madimo is a great actor. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. We were born there. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Karen and Kenya. You did a great job. That was perfect. Thank you very much for your help tonight. So do you have any question about how to use the simple pass of the verb to be? Questions? Do you have any question? Okay, if you don't have any other question, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help and your participation during the exercise of tonight's virtual session. Thank you. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, tomorrow is, is the Father's Day. It's a holiday, right? So give a very huge hug to your father and say, I love you. Say, I love to Thanks. your father. And don't forget about the platform exercises. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that you read the message on the WhatsApp group. And for tomorrow, you have to complete the section number four. So if you haven't done it yet, I highly recommend to you to complete that section, please. Section number four. Okay. And the next week, we are going to complete section number five and also the final exam. So thank you so much. Hey, thank you. See you Good on night. Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.